Hello and welcome to my best settings guide for Helldivers 2. Let's get right into it, starting off with our gameplay settings. I have matchmaking privacy on public, crossplay is on so that I can play with other people. Remember A mode is per weapon, remember weapon functions is yes, weapon switch mode is default, switch weapon on pickup is no, you don't want to have this on because then whenever you switch to a weapon that you may not want to switch to, it'll automatically switch to it. Dynamic A mode is on. Window notifications is on and then allow data collection I have turned off. For our display, I have my brightness set to 11. It seems to be a good mix of not being too bright or washed out, but still being able to see things in dark places. <clears throat> uh, high dynamic range is off. Camera shake was actually on it. strong. I turned that all the way to off just because um, while it may make the game more immersive, it does make it pretty hard to... Um, I just don't enjoy it. So, you know, more of a personal preference. It's not like this is a competitive shooter or whatever, but I have that turned off for now. I actually turned my vertical field of view all the way up to 90, just so you can see more. I think it feels better too. I didn't like the small field of view. Again, that's also a personal preference. Then we have our GPU. None of that matters. Render scales on ultra quality. You could turn this down if, uh, you know, you're having FPS issues. I have borderless window on, you'd probably get better FPS with full screen. However, I alt tab a lot, so I like borderless window more, and vSync is turned off. For our graphic settings, we actually have a lot of important ones here, so make sure you pay close attention. Motion blur was on all the way. Make sure you turn that off so that your uh, view isn't blurred when you're turning. Depth of field also should be turned off, and so should bloom. All the three of these are awful. I don't know why they're turned on usually. They don't make things more cinematic. They just make them awful. And then I turned my sharpness from 0.75. I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference to 1. I do think it makes the game look slightly better. So if we'll turn that box all the way on. I think the game just looks cleaner. I'm not exactly sure. Like, what about it? I guess it's just more sharp, right? But anyways, we'll go back to our graphic settings. And, you know, if you need... Um, you know, more FPS, you can turn the texture quality down, but I don't like the game to look like complete shit. And the high texture quality doesn't really affect um, my GPU too much. But if you have a worse GPU, you could definitely turn it on to low. It sort of shows you how much VRAM is recommended for each of the different GPUs. So maybe even medium would be a better setting. Object detail quality I have on medium. Render distance I have on medium. Uh, okay, and then we have shadow quality on lowest, particle quality on low, reflection quality on low. Can turn those down all the way if you want even better performance space quality on low ambient occlusion off vegetation and rubble low this will make it easier to see enemies screen space global illumination off terrain quality is low you could turn this up if you want it to be a little bit prettier you'll you'll just lose some fps volumetric fog quality is low volumetric cloud cloud quality is low oh my gosh that's a hard one to say lighting quality is low and anti-aliasing is on it's interesting the game actually looks better with that on Audio, make sure you have your audio device set to whatever. Because I'm on PC, I have it set to headphones, but you know, if you're using uh, something else, if you're playing on your P like PS5 or whatever, you could switch it there. Headphones, uh, you know, uh, and then, yeah, all that I haven't really changed. I changed my voice chat to push to talk just so I'm not hot miking. Uh, I didn't really change much in the HUD, honestly. I have the primary objective on visible all the time. So basically, I always want stuff visible. I may turn them off in the uh, eventually, but that's on dynamic. Mission info visibility is dynamic. Strategy. I wonder if you could turn that. Yeah, you may want to turn that on to visible all the times, but dynamic's probably fine. Stratagem, you may get used to these, but at least at the beginning, I'm going to have the header visible and health should be visible for sure. Hint visibility, you could probably turn that uh, off eventually once you get used to the game. So all those are fine, and then we'll have stamina width on normal. Reticle visibility is dynamic. You may want to just turn that onto visible at all times. Uh, I think it looks better with dynamic though, just for fun. Uh, nameplate visibility, info feed visibility is dynamic. Sample count visibility is dynamic, and player marking visibility is visible. Then compass visibility is visible. Compass width, you can, you can change all that about the compass. I just left it as is. Honestly, I think it's fine. And you know, so hybrid allows you to move and look around while the map is open. Separated allows you to only move while the map is open and relies on your look controls to navigate the map. So I personally think that um, I like hybrid more, uh, but separated is something that allows you to only move while the map is open. So you may want that, but I think hybrid is fine. So we can go to accessibility. We don't have to worry about anything there. Controller, I'm not actually using a controller, so this is not my strong suit. Uh, you know, you may want to turn down like your aim sensitivity and stuff. I don't know exactly everything about controllers, so I'm not going to pretend to know it. 
I would say that something you may want to turn down is like your vibration strength and trigger effects that may be make it harder to aim and then other th all this stuff you'll have to look up a different video I'm sorry about that boys I just am not I've never been a controller player I grew up on the computer and that is what I will stick to so good luck on that mouse and keyboard this is my strength mouse sensitivity actually is already set to 0.7 which is good it's felt great for me I have 800 dpi and a pretty big mouse pad just for reference and then aim sensitivity, I left all at one. Mouse smoothing was actually on. Turn that off, it'll make the game feel more snappy and mouse acceleration should never be on. Bindings, I didn't change too much in here, though I did change a couple of things. For sprint, I changed it to, that's not what I changed it to. I did have sprint on caps lock originally. And then WASD is all fine. It crouches on C prone. And then alt is good for dive. I love that the map is on tab instead of M. That should be normal in games. Games should stop using M for the normal uh, map marker. And as we go down, I think the stratagem thing on control is fine. In combat, there's not much that I would change here. I did change a couple of things. You could change F or melee to a mouse uh, thing, it, a mouse key if you wanted. You could also switch the E and the F um, if you wanted to like, cause so like, some games have F as your interact, so, uh, but that's totally up to you. Quick grenade, I like on G actually, I think it's fine. I changed my quick stim from V, which is sort of weird to a mouse button just because it's easier to hit and, you know, stimming is pretty important. And everything else, I'm pretty sure I left the same here. For our communication, uh, you know, voice activation is on caps lock, which is fine. Uh, and I didn't really change anything here as well. So pretty simple stuff on the keybinds. And finally, account. That's nothing. So we went through all of our settings. Um, it wasn't too bad. You know, you could change your display settings if depending on, or sorry, your graphics settings, depending if you have a good or bad GPU. Uh, I have them on low for right now, but personally, I'll probably turn them up a bit just because my GPU can handle slightly better graphics. And again, this isn't a competitive game. It's a beautiful co-op game that's against a, uh, you know, computer. So you don't have to have the best, gra or you don't have to have the best FPS. You can actually enjoy your graphics a little bit too. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this um, best settings guide. I hope you found it helpful and hopefully you get lots of frames. Good luck in your dives this week. I hope it goes great. I've been having a ton of fun. I don't care what the reviews say. Um, they've been review bombing this game and I honestly don't think it deserves it. It's actually so cool. And I mean, I think like the coolest thing about this game, you know, is that it's like actually live. Like if you go to this map, you actually get to like see it as people like liberate stuff. It's so, so cool. So anyways, thanks for watching all. And I hope you have a wonderful day.